Hi. This video is about an actor who graced cinema a little while back and he graced it for a long, long time. And I think many fans of his, myself included, possibly don't even realise just how much he did and how prolific he actually was. The guy was a legend, really. Uh, the actor I'm talking about is Charles Bronson. Of course, he was most famous for Death Wish, which was made in the 70s, or the Death Wish series. I do have one of those entries, but I wasn't a fan of all the rest of them. They were good, they were alright, but I didn't really want to watch them like again and again and again, with the exception of Death Wish 2, which I do have, the newest edition. I did not like the original Death Wish, frankly because the original muggers are not caught, or he doesn't do it, they, they, they get away, that's it. And that wasn't good enough for me, so I didn't bother with the original Death Wish. I don't like it. Death Wish 2 was much better, as far as I'm concerned. But apart from Death Wish, Bronson did... He must have done well over a hundred movies in his career, in his life. I think he started out playing a few bad guys. In He was in a lot of westerns. But he also played various other characters as well. Played cops a lot, I suppose. But he was, of course, most renowned for being a movie tough guy. I mean, you knew that if this guy was in your family, he would... You'd be fine. You know, you would just be alright. You know, it wouldn't matter if an army was coming at the door. Bronson would be able to kick their butt, frankly. You know, he was basically a one-man army. And he did this in a lot of the films... That, that he did but um, of course he also had a very caring and sensitive side but that was mostly reserved for his private life of course he was married famously I think to Jill Island for a very very long time uh, before her tragic battle with cancer came to an end and cost her a life but he was at the few when he was at the funeral he was a uh, he was obviously really upset and there were a few articles in the papers at the time which were um, speaking about it saying um, you know a lot of women saying you know that uh, well I didn't exactly approve of the movies that he did they weren't really for me they were too violent too nasty like it are but as a man and as the husband to Jill Island he was wonderful and yeah, to stand by, you know, to stand by her all that time, you know, well, kudos to the guy, you know. But, uh, yeah, regardless of all that, he also, he also, they also, I think, adopted a few kids um, in the family. So it was quite a big family with a few um, adopted children that they had. Um, I think they had a few of their own as well, although I don't quite know for sure, but uh, really immaterial. But... His movies were nearly always brilliant. I don't... I've just been watching a few recently. Um, I watched one the other night, which I've got on DVD, yeah, called Cold Sweat. I remember I ordered this just recently. Made in 1970. And when I saw it online, I thought, well, I've got to have that. Because I do remember watching it a long, long time ago. And I don't even... Oh, it's almost scary to think how long ago it was when I saw it. Um, I think we're talking like when I was in my early 20s at the time. I don't know, something like that. Must be pretty close, but that's like... <laughs> <blimey>. <laughs> that 25, 30 years, you know, that long. It was just a, during the days of video, for goodness sake. But, um, yeah, I don't think he ever made a poor film. I can't think of one film that he was in, 
because I saw many back then, you know, there were so many on late at night during Christmas time, I don't bother with Christmas anymore, um, I don't believe in it, um, but during that time then, they showed loads of movies, and there were always many late at night, and many of them style Charles Bronson, you know, and I watched a lot of them, I mean, White Buffalo, um, Messenger of Death, uh, oh, Something to think of, even off the top of my head, a few westerns, of course, once upon a time in the west. Um, oh, what else? And oh, crikey, there's so many of them, I can't even figure them right. Yeah, Breakheart Pass, I think, or was that Clint Eastwood? <laughs> I can't remember, but um, yeah, Great Escape, yeah, loads, loads of them. He did loads of films, but yeah, I don't think he ever did a disappointing one. And if the film that he was in wasn't possibly that great. He made it great, you know, he gave it a little bit of lift, well, Charles Bronson is it, so, you know, always slightly lifted, but he didn't really have to do that, because um, most of the films he did were really clear, they were, yeah, often violent, but that's just the way it is, you know, you know, so, you know, never mind the violent films that he did, so what, but uh, many of them I do remember, oh, The Mechanic's another one, really got to see that again, uh, but there's another one that he did, which I've only just found out about, didn't even know about this, The Stone Killer. I've got to get that on Blu-ray. Didn't even know about that. And uh, the story sounds pretty good. Again, playing the tough guy. But, um, oh yeah, in Hard Times there's another one. Yeah, <laughs> they're all coming now. But, um, yeah, that was another thing about Charles Bronson. When he did the later Death Wish sequels, he wasn't a young man, you know. I think, do believe that when he did Death Wish for the Crackdown, I think he was actually 68. So he was certainly in his mid-60s. And up until much later on, when he was still making films, right up until probably his late 60s, even his 70s maybe. But even though he didn't look that old you know he seems to have made films in the he seems to have been like the ages of late 40s to his 60s or 70s all the way through his films i don't ever remember seeing him in as a very young man in uh, many things but um yeah yeah the point is that the age he was he was extremely fit you know had a very strong muscular body and um, I don't think he was the tallest guy in the world either uh, but not that he was really small but uh, no he wasn't that tall I mean he was no six footer or anything but yeah in terms of his physique he might have been in his later years and quite petite really uh, not that tall but yeah he was certainly extremely fit and of course obviously very strong so uh, and if you want further evidence of that well look at the film Hard Times with, with James Coburn he plays a street fighter and there's a scene near the beginning in it when um, you know oh yeah come on let's see how you can long you can last old man uh, you knew he would knock his block off you know and he pretty much did I think if I remember the film rightly but um, yeah Charles Bronson I think had an amazing career did over a hundred films. He must have. I don't know how many he did, but it must have been over a hundred movies. Hardly ever did a poor one. And I think the guy's got every right to be called a legend. Um, you know, it's a pity these guys can't live forever sometimes. But um, a lot of the films he left behind will be classics for a very long time. So um, his movies are obviously going to um, outlive him by decades. But um, yeah, miss you, Charlie. Um, one of those movie stars who um, seemed very evergreen, but you were always there and fighting with the best of them. So, uh, it's not to mess with the guy. Cheers. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.